welcome to this episode of That's Good Science, where today we take a break from celebrating the little victories in science to salute one of the big ones, a revolution that started with the study of a humble jellyfish, Aquaria victoria, and resulted in the marvel known as green fluorescent protein, or GFP. Awarded a Nobel Prize in 2008, Osamu Shimomura, Martin Chalfi, and Roger Chen changed the way we visualize living systems through discovery and development of GFP, first commercialized by Clonetech. And for a while, it was as if biology labs everywhere had been taken over by Martians, or little green organisms. Fortunately, Chen and a number of enterprising biologists followed the pot of GFP gold back to the rainbow and developed a whole spectrum of colored GFP derivatives. What makes GFP so special? While many animals are bioluminescent, especially those that live in the dark world of the ocean, the chromophores are often external cofactors like lumazines and flavins. But with GFP, everything you need is coded in the protein sequence, chromophore included. Plug and play bioluminescence. ET's glowing finger might not be the first thing that comes to your mind when we say GFP or bioluminescence, but a pair of physicists at Harvard Medical School had exactly that thought. That's right, Malte Gather and Andy Yoon decided to make a GFP expressing cell that generates a laser beam. We already use lasers in diagnostic tests and medical treatments, but it's difficult to deliver laser light deep inside the body. Generating and amplifying light deep within tissues would get around this problem. GFPs have illuminated countless scientific and medical explorations and shed light into many heretofore dark secrets of biology. And that's good science.